can do, a woman can equally do. Uh, Excellency, the princess is one of the greatest gifts that Lagos State has given to humanity. Please put your hands together for her. At this juncture, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor and privilege to invite this man that we adore and adulate, not only in Anambra State, but beyond the shores of Anambra State. A man we not only respect, but revere. A man that will celebrate and venerate for no other reason than the fact that he has taken the mantle of leadership to the highest level in Anambra State ever before. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about a man who has strived to emancipate the Anambra from the shackles of despoilation and despondency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite His Excellency, Chief Willie, Mada Brochupu Obiano, the second tenure deserving governor of Anambra State, the leading champion of sustainable development goals in Nigeria. Your Excellency, we want to welcome you. Thank you. Uh, please sit down. Your Excellency, the uh, Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Ugobuzwe Ochake Nkemokeke. Your Excellency, the United Nations uh, Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator, Mr. Edward Fallon. Uh, Your Excellency, the De former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, and uh, Senior Special Assistant to the President for Sustainable Development Goals, Princess Mrs. Adejoke Ralope Adefuluri. I must get the name right today. <laughs> the, uh, my good friend and colleague of for a long time, uh, Ben, they kept asking pastor. I didn't know which time, when, when he became pastor. Uh, 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 ben Akabweze, uh, the DG budget and planning, I respect you. Um, Your Excellency, the former, uh, gov the, the former governor of Anambra State, uh, Mrs. Etiaba Dim. Tiaba, Beji, uh, the uh, national chairman of our great party, APGA, also Victoria, the uh, secretary to the state government, uh, the my lord uh, spiritual that I hear from my own bishop, Ezra Kafo. Uh, the Bishop Emeritus, Archbishop Emeritus, uh, and the the Khan President is also here. The uh, all my members of ESCO are here. Anambra State House of Assembly, uh, uh, they are all here in full. I recognize and acknowledge yourselves. Uh, the the. Uh, Chairman of Anambra State Traditional Rulers Council and the Vice and the Chancellor Amadubelo University, uh, Obio Furniture, Abogidi. And the winning Igwe Igwe Let me stand on the protocol uh, earlier established by the Comper uh, Chido Wangu. I'll go through uh, 
my address. On behalf of uh, the people of government of Anambra State, I welcome you to Oka. Uh, I consider it an honor to address you this morning and share some key elements of our success story with you. However, before I go on, I must express my sincere gratitude to all our development partners for your unwavering support to Anambra State through the years. I think we should put your hands together for all our development partners. Darlene. The theme of this summit is, I quote, leveraging development partners to attain sustainable development goals by 2030, unquote. To my mind, you could not have chosen a better team than this. In fact, I'm really happy with the theme of this summit. My happiness comes from the fact that the strategic approach of my administration is essentially anchored on building uh, critical partnerships and extracting maximum values from such partnerships to develop our dear states. As a government, we have never believed that we know it all or that we can do it alone. Our strength lies in, the, in our partnerships. Welcome to Anambra. Ladies and gentlemen, I consider it appropriate at this juncture to formally introduce our dear states to our partners. This great state is the first largest economy in Nigeria after Lagos, Abuja, and River State. Statistics indicate that Anambra has the lowest poverty rate in Nigeria today. With a GDP of uh, 11.83 billion US dollars per capita income of uh, $1,615, uh, as a Anambra is probably the most endowed state in the Southeast with Onicha, main market widely known to be the largest commercial center in all the West Africa. The flourishing city of Newi is also the only automobile manufacturing city in West Africa. Some of you that came in, the, uh, that were conveyed to this venue in the bus, the bus you used was manufactured here in Anambra <laughs> by Innocent Motors. Anambra is endowed with natural gas, crude oil, bauxite, ceramic, and 100% uh, arable land. About 60% of our people live in the urban areas. Anambra is the second most densely populated state in Nigeria after Lagos, with an estimated average density of 1,500 to 2,000 people per square kilometer. The state has a landmass that covers an area of 4,484 square kilometers, making her the second smallest state outside Lagos. But like I was explaining to the development partners yesterday, uh, we are now the smallest state in Nigeria because while Lagos is growing into the Atlantic Ocean, we are shrinking from erosion. <laughs> Anambra shares boundaries with Enugu to the east, uh, Delta to the west, Imo rivers to the south, and Kogi to the north. Anambra carries the heavy weight of Igbo history dating back to the 9th century AD, as revealed by the archaeological findings in the Wuhu. What have we done? Ladies and gentlemen, after a careful study of the 17 goals of the United Nations Development Agenda 2030, I felt content with our modest effort in Anambra State. This is because most of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations are already sufficiently covered in the economic blueprint of my administration, otherwise known as the Anambra Wheel of Development. It is instructive to note that my team and I came with clear, defined vision and mission statements. The statements we crafted to serve as the ultimate compass that will guide our dear state 
to an island of prosperity.